everybody! Yeah, it's me. I've taken over this lovely Tuesday night. How are we all doing? I am going to play one of my favourite games, uh, commonly known as the game that broke my childhood, um, The Lion King on the Mega Drive. One of my favourite games to play. I think I've played it more times than I have years lived. So, you know, it, it's a great game. I've never quite understood why people have found it hard. But I guess we'll see how I do. So this game came out when I was very small, probably around the 1995 uh, period. I rented it from Choices, which was I think pre-Blockbuster or a Blockbuster competitor. Anyway, they did Mega Drive games for I think $4.99 for a week. So completely jumped on that bandwagon considering I was in love with this movie as a kid. Um, and I think I played it constantly for maybe a couple of weeks until I completed it on my little black and white screen. Literally it was no bigger than this um, and I was overjoyed. I tell you what though, when I got to play it in colour for the first time I was over the moon. What had I been missing? Um, we aren't going to talk about the Super Nintendo version however because we're going to yeet that one out of the park. Don't like it. I think it's very inferior to this version. I love this version. So anyway, shall we, uh, shall we begin? Let's go. It starts. How are we for audio? Who, who's in my chat? Chaney, how's my audio? This is the first level. It's very calming, very zen. You know, lots of green, easy enemies. You'll learn how to jump, how to roll, how to roar. That's important. So I don't, I obviously don't know all the secrets to all of this. Um, I know where most of the stuff is, and I know a few little cheats, and I'll show you a few little secret bits, you know, that only come from when you've played this a 4,000 times and you accidentally roll into a wall and then suddenly realise you can go through the wall and that is amazing. So this is the first one. Cool. You think, ah, oh, there's nowhere to go. Well, there is. You just roll under this guy. You're right, then. You can roll through here. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I know. Cool. Awesome. There's a continue and then a bug. So that's a full health one. This bug increases your roar. Roar rawometer? Rawometer. Yeah, let's call it that. I like that. Rolls off the tongue. Right, I'm gonna do this a little bit and then I will talk about the differences between the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive version. Also, hi Matthew, I've just seen you in the chat. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to this part of my childhood which you were in, so um there's that. <laughs> you probably you probably um touches is our kingdom sage advice from Mikasa. Um, you were probably there when Tanya and I were obsessed with the Lion King, right? I feel like you might have been. Anyway, memories! Yeah, it was good times. The um, original VHS of the Lion King came with a pack of like crayony type face paints. And um, my best friend and I, Tanya, who's not with us today, probably. <laughs> she might be watching, I don't know. Um, we used to dress up as Simba and Scar all the time. I ain't like a pig! Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we used to dress up as Simba and Scar all the time. It was just a lot of fun. So I got really good at lying. Uh, his pain. Uh, we also had the, um, the Prince Studio. Anyone remember that? You used to get CD-ROMs of popular movies, probably mostly Disney at that point. You used to just be able to print off pictures and colour and pictures and stuff. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, good. I'm glad I'm not the only old one here. So, Chaney, differences. Sorry. Music. Ten times better. Actually relates to the film, as you can hear. That's right. Sing along. Um, yeah, music. Ten times better. Levels. Much wider. Also cut off. The um, Akuna Matata level on the Mega Drive is much more palatable and the bad guy is much more, is, is just better than the Super Nintendo one. If I ever have a crisis of confidence and um, maybe I'm in a hostage situation and I need help, I will tell you that the Super Nintendo Lion King is the best one, so remember that. Anyway, so these, these pink monkeys apparently annoy loads of people, but they're not that hard to sort. You just have to roar at them to figure out the way. So. That monkey puts me down, so maybe I maybe I just roar at the pink monkey. And then the pink monkey will take me elsewhere. 
They only have two directions, so not not puzzle solving. I'm gonna do the Aladdin one at some point. I love that one, and I still have. I must have played it so many times that I remember that lava carpet level. You could ask me what I had for breakfast this morning and I wouldn't know, but if you asked me the sequence on where to ride the carpet, I would know. Right, so this is this is one of the puzzles that people get confused about, but you just you get a one up, roar at that monkey, you go over to this one, fling you across the other side. Do the same on the other side. You jump across the treacherous river. Because it can be a bit of a pain. You roar at this guy. And then he's like, oh, okay, I'll do something else. And this bit can be um, a little bit irritating. But I nailed it. So it's all good. Um, I'm going to get the Timon thing so that I can show you the mini game for that as well. Because it's fun. And you get continues and one ups, which we like. And you need them for the last two levels, which are awful. Honestly, they're horrible. They are nasty levels. Alright, now we just have to roar at this guy, go over here, and sing along. I'm brushing up, I'm looking down, I'm working on my. Oh, wait, actually. I ain't doing that on stream there. So here we are, this is the one I was talking about earlier where the dev was just running away from these guys. He just went up here and went, oh look, there's a there's a thing there that's blocking me from going, but I'm just gonna run away. We're like, why? Just stand on them. By the way, there is something down there at the top. I just, um, I can't be bothered because it's just, a, it's just a bug, who cares? I always recommend killing this guy because otherwise he can get stuck on this edge and he can be really irritating. Oh, and he's done that thing, which is irritating as well. I don't want to, I just want to, there we go. Right, so you must have seen the cool, like, it's the cool bug. Cool. Cool. You gotta love it. All right. These are, I wish that they were chicken bones when I was a kid. They're not that irritating, but these birds are, maybe they're the bones of the birds. I mean, they got thick thighs. This bit kind of, it's fine, you just press A a lot and he jumps up, but um, oh, isn't that cute animation? Look at that. Look at his little leg go! Oh, he wants to get up! I haven't really discovered a function for a big roar meter yet. If anyone knows the function of a big roar meter that would be amazing. There's a bug there where you can't jump on it every single time in. I love, I love this game. It's got these beautiful little animations. You see how when I run, the little bones come off the floor? I think that's so super cute. And that's what I love about uh, this game is all the little, kind of, um, the little details they put in it, which is really cool. All right, just have to live. I think the three at the end are meant to be Shenzi, Banzai, and Ed. But this guy, this guy is where he's at. Do you find the older you get, the more you relate to Disney villains? Or is that just me? Because I, I, I do that. This, so this is probably the level that makes or breaks people. <laughs> but there's a couple of glitches you can sort of exploit a little bit. Like you can just hang over here for a bit. Oh, you can't. Not that guy. Not mine. <laughs> but you can just cross across like this. Yeah, if they're right on the outside like that, they're not good. Right, there's, there's sort of... You can hang over here in a minute. Okay, that's that's my cheat. You can hang, see, you're not getting hit by the thing. And there's no there's no stampede. So you can just sit over there and it's all good. And you're golden. Kill him. Kill him. Look at this happy papa. He's like, yeah! Throw up! Kill the little... Kill the cub. Anyway, this is a super short level if you know the shortcut, so, um, you know, don't blink because you're going to miss it. So this bit here, you just do a little... Cool. And that, you can just skip half the level. So it's permadeath, or insta-death rather, if you uh, fall off this, so I'm not planning on that. 
really big jump here. And we're done. We are out of there. Boom! Straight to Hakuna, Hakuna Matata Land. If you ever come back, we'll kill ya! <sighs> so we're all gonna sing along to this one, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Die. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. No passing grace. Look at his little face. He's like, ah! My life flashed before my eyes. Oh, they did really well with the animation. I mean, the sprites look really sweet. Obviously, Simba looks really sweet. He's got this lovely little waiting thing, which I'll show you later. Less talking, Sarah. Less gloating. More. Ooh, blimey. There's no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free. Philosophy. Here we go. Here we go. We can see the end game. Come on. Come on, fish. Alright. Gotta be hungry. Yes! Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna do the thing that we do. We look down. We look before we leap. We don't as a kid, but we sure as hell do as an adult. There's, there's a lot of people who, on these on these little gaming groups you're on, not OLL, I haven't been on OLL, but they think that this is one of the hardest games to play, and I'm not entirely sure I agree with them. Now, whether that's because I'm good at platformers, I'm not sure I can say that, um, or whether it's I'm just good at this game because I've played it so, so much that I know where everything is and what to do and all that, I don't know, but, you know, I did complete it as an eight-year-old, so I don't know. To be fair, I would have been really mad if I hadn't completed it as an eight-year-old because I was absolutely obsessed with it, and I'm pretty sure I went around the playground the next day and was like, "Yeah, I did it! Yeah!" Not that anyone cared because I think I was the only one with a Mega Drive. <laughs> I, think, I remember who was it? I think it was a kid called Peter. I want to say his name was. I can't remember his last name. Anyway, Peter, he had the best nano pet thing. Oh, I... oh you won't know. Uh, it was a monkey, and it was on a thing that was like this big. Smaller, like that big. And it was just its little head, and you could play a game... Ooh, well. You could play a game where you um, struggled, effectively. It was so cool, I wanted one, and I never, ever, ever found one. <laughs> I've like eBayed it just in, on the off chance. I've never, ever found one. I had a Digimon one. Ugh. You know, it was sort of a square block like, like this, and it pig. connected into somebody else's, and. Yeah. See, this game it gives me an nostalgia feel. This is the first part of the second half. Play your adult Simba. Now. Listen to his roar. Right. Listen. How cool is that? I love that. It's so cool. He also has the ability to smack his opponent now. And you've got these cool moves, so you can just smash away if you want to. But if you drop on an enemy just right and, and click um, and press C in my case, um, you can sort of mash them from above. If there was just a level where I could run, that'd be great. There is, though, uh, coming up a bit where you're being chased by a boulder, and I love that just from the fact that it's probably one of the only parts where you can run a Simba, and I love that animation. It's so cool. You can kill these by roaring at them. I don't know why. This is a detail I like. It's gone from just a little baby Simba animation to the one with the little thing around him. The mane. It looks so cute. This is the bit where we run. Appreciate the running. Isn't that nice? Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? It's just nice. Now let's call this leopard. <laughs> Here we go. There's our Mufasa. You must take your place in the circle of life. So let's go do that, shall we? But not before a good old bunk hunt. So this. This level, right here, is the reason that some people's childhoods are broken. It's 
it is a difficult level. I will give you that. I struggle on it. I probably have to use a few lives on it. There's these guys, there's bats, there's lava, there's... Uh, uh, do you know what? You can experience the nightmare as I did. First time. <laughs> we just go through it. We'll get through it together. Fortunately, to start with, at least there's a few bugs. Ooh, the bats. I hate the bats. And look! My little friend! Half the size now, because obviously we're big. I kind of like that they do that. This is where it gets fun. So I'm going to go the easy way, just because of the stream. Should I? No. Do you know what? No. High risk, high reward. Does mean I may not talk for five minutes while I just get this bit down, because it can be this... What Vagris was saying about literal freaking hell? Yeah. But I got a one up and I got a, a cool bug. Not a cool bug. A, a Timon bug, which is <coughs> job do. So now we have to get through here real quick. I tend to ignore the hyena because who cares? And then I just watch. Just play around. Clean house. Ready for this. Okay, so before we continue, and because we're going to die, if we don't get. This, this bit's fun. This bit has a burning hot folder. Which if you don't time it right, you can die. Please, die. please, please. Oh, I did. I survived by the skin of my teeth. There's a bug up here, so. I like, know that it's all good. Take a breath. <clears throat> anyway, this bit is basically just avoid the blocks, try and get over here as quickly as you can. You have to avoid those rocks and I find the easiest way to do it is by doing this but you have to get off these quickly because these come with little caps or hats fall down at the end of the thing and if you get hit by one that's instant death if you hang out this end of it they will um, hopefully get capped a lot quicker I'm just waiting for these two now I should come down there it is so now you can just stand on here and wait and then we're off to hyena land Oh, this level. This level hurts my soul, but I think I remember the way through. We'll figure it out, you know? So unfortunately with this level, you also have to, you do literally have to kill all of the hyenas before you go to the next level, so you have to actively engage with them, which can be difficult, which is why you try and collect as many red bugs as possible, because otherwise this can be really quite hard. Oh good, so we collect the bug, and I know the way. Don't even, don't even try it mate, don't even try it. The other thing about this level is if you do go right back to the beginning, because you went the wrong way, um, the bugs that you collect, the baddies might be there but the bugs won't be, so you are screwed. There we go. There we go. I did it. Excuse the dog. He's about to go off. <laughs> Do you know how he got this scar? No one knows. I I heard there's there's books where it has scars. Backstory, a little bit. I don't know if it's this full backstory, but it has his real name and stuff. I can't remember what his real name is. Te is it Tech? No, it's not Takashi. That is a castle. It means rubbish in um, Swahili or something. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I feel sorry for Scar. Um, right, let's hit him, I guess. <laughs> I feel sorry for Scar. Two seconds later, let's hit him, I guess. Yeah. A little bit careful with him because if you uh, if you do the jump thing where you sort of pat his head for a little while. Um, he can come back and swipe you, but it uh, gets rid of the most health, so it's all good. And I think this one is superior over Aladdin because of that, because you've got, you, you haven't got any written narrative, you've just got the characters saying stuff, you know, um, oh, go away. you've got Mufasa, you've got Rafiki, there's, there's those bits of story, and I think you probably have to have seen the film to 
to know because I've never played the game without knowing the film. But you, I mean, you get the general gist, right? Scar bad. So we're good. <laughs> My summary. <laughs> One of the things that I do praise this game for is definitely the music. Not just because it sounds really, really good for console where multiple streams of music should have been difficult, but for some reason um, It's because what they've done with the music. So there are elements in the music that come almost directly from directly from the um, from the film and I love that. There are also sort of remixed elements in it which are really good. So yeah. It's a good game. So with Scar you basically have to is it it's a little boring once you know how to do it. He has to stop attacking and he'll get to that point where he will and he'll sort of stop blocking as well. That I think we're sort of getting to that point now. And you see he's panting because he's He's an old lion, and I'm a young, new, shiny thing. Um, and he's sad that he's old. This is, Sky is what it feels like to be over 30. <laughs> you have a bad pack, and you're tired all the time. Oh, no, no, no! You don't want him to do that. You really don't want him to do that. There we go. Ah! Oh, enjoy it. Turn it up. Turn it up. Come on. Energy up. That's right. Boom. Boom. Picture this. Eight-year-old me. Dance into this. That full blast. On my little telly. This is the same face. Yeah, did it! I think I shouted at my mum. She was not interested. But I did it! There you go! <sighs> I love it. I'm just gonna. Yeah. In the circle. The circle of life. Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Damn straight. I did do that with relative ease, Vargas. I hope that I showed you that it's not, it isn't the hardest game in the world, I promise. I promise. It's not, you just need to time it. Take your time or something. Like that, you know, the, the, the red level? I call it the red level because you've got the red level, the blue level, and then the fire level. To the red level with all the lava can be really really tricky really tricky and has often taken me more than just a couple of lives so um yeah that can be really hard and then finding your way through the blue level i mean that will take people ages to do that because if you go in any of the other doors it will take you out somewhere new and you're like ah oh, cool this is the way but there's only one route that you can go all the way around it most likely go the wrong way. It only takes one door. You go the wrong way. Um, yeah, you end up a bit screwed. This is less fun. So yeah, I love this game. I love this game. Did, did I make it look easy or is it, is it, is it easy? I don't know. That, that's my mum. I guarantee you that's my mum. Bill's, Bill's probably getting annoyed now. Like, oh, I thought this was meant to be a professional stream. Oh well. Nine. Eight, seven, seven.